Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a DIY, how to photograph yourself, how to create your own DIY photo studio and how not to use a DSLR to create really good high quality pictures. Now today's video is kind of a weird one. It came about because it's actually my birthday in a couple days, I'm going to be 25 and basically a friend of mine who wishes not to be named for some reason, um, we were having a good discussion about like people doing all these fancy photo shoots for their birthdays and eventually the conversation went to her challenging me to kind of do my own because I just established that I was never going to pay so much money for someone else to do it for me. I was like, you know what, I'm going to prove to you that it can be done. To be honest, I'm actually shocked at how well it's turned out, so I'll let you guys be the judge and I hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully find some tips from this, so let's just get started with the video. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you guys around my set. Someone's just about to come and do my water and I just thought it'd be a nice time to kind of show you guys what I've been up to. So this is what it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I basically have this sheet which my mum gave me, um, which was a temporary curtain because I live in rented property and I couldn't get curtains up. But now I have them, I have this white sheet. And then obviously here I've just blown up some helium balloons which are all up in the ceiling at the moment and the ones that are in the middle are going to be props that I hold in my hand. So I've just tied them to some string so that I can grab hold of it when I need to. And then at the back I just have 25 which I've just put up. I'm also going to be taking them down so I can hold them so it's going to be at the top in the back of shots as well as in my hand. I have this rail which I bought ages ago when I wanted to do backdrops in my video but I never kind of found the material so it's always just been in my cupboard just kind of sitting there and this was actually around £30 from Amazon. To light up my shot which is the most important thing in my opinion I have a ring light. This is the newer ring light and this retails for around £89 which is probably more on the pricey side for any of you who aren't really you know don't have a lot of money but I think it's so worth it I'm not a huge fan of this I really don't think this is very stable I always get scared this is gonna break BAM so that's how effective this light is it's crazy and even just that light alone look how white the background is and then just to light the sides of my shot because I have a main ring light for my face and then to light the sides I have two white umbrellas and these are literally the cheapest ones you can find on Amazon very cheap I'll show you around the back and um, this is how it looks on the outside. So as you can see, really simple. I have a chair there because I needed my phone to stand there. And then the camera that I'm using right now, I just want to show you in a mirror, is actually a really obvious YouTuber classic, which is the Canon G7X. Again, this was only like, what, 300 pounds maybe, which is not a lot of money for a camcorder. And you don't need to have a DSLR, seriously guys. I honestly believe that it's lighting, which is so key for this. So as you can see, it's just one of those ordinary handheld cameras. It means you can actually see what you're shooting. You're not just kind of standing there like, what's going on? So it's definitely an easy setup. Ooh, nearly fell over there. Um, and I would definitely say if you are trying to film yourself, definitely look into using your phone as a remote. That is definitely a really good idea. Um, especially if you're just kind of doing shots of your face that means you can control when you're gonna do it even your phone as well like if you have really good lighting I reckon that you could get a really nice shot on your phone and the other good thing about this ring light actually if I just show you is on here you can actually get a um, like a holder to put your iPhone. I actually like to put my tripod behind my ring light right behind it and obviously just zoom in past the circle so you don't get that so this is my shot this is essentially what I'm getting um, and obviously if I zoom in, cut out the edges where my white ends, I just get this nice clean white and it's really simple to um, kind of manipulate as well. I just wanted to show you guys a hack for how I anchored my balloons. As you can see I have some balloons right up there and there's my head, sorry. But um, basically no shame in this at all. I didn't want to buy anything so I basically used, which is very handy, these two um, household sprays and all I did was tie a piece of string to the top of it and then I tied my balloons onto it and I'm not joking this thing does not move and then obviously to make your balloons long and short all you need to do is tie them at different lengths onto each other you don't need to cut them all at the same length just tie them up and down along to get your different lengths of balloons which is how I've achieved that for the top of this I've just taken some string and attached it to the top of my backdrop um, clips and then wound it along and used the tabs which comes with the balloons to hide it. Okay, so I'm back and this is what the set looks like. 
from what I just showed you guys. Um, obviously, me about to shoot um, all my pictures, and this is kind of what it looks like from the perspective of the camera. And as you can see, it's a lot brighter than when I showed you um, when I was showing you the umbrella lights and the ring light. And this is everything turned on maximum. As you can see from here, I don't actually have a very big sheet, but the idea behind this is that I'm not actually doing many below the waist kind of shots. If I'm doing any longer shots, I'm gonna be using the stool. Um, the idea behind this is just to stand on something. And then all I'm gonna do is actually tilt my camera upwards. So I'm gonna have a slight upwards angle at my face which is better for my face sorry <laughs> um, because I have um, a much bigger forehead than I have a chin so it's just gonna kind of make my forehead look a bit smaller but that's basically how I'm gonna get past kind of exposing the back okay so one thing you need to remember is when you are shooting this yourself you're not gonna be able to have someone who's gonna be able to press the shutter for you and get a focus you are gonna have to do some running so I'd recommend if you are gonna do this do not set your camera up way ahead so you can't run back to your seat what you need to do is kind of use a focal point so as you can see for the time being I'm actually going to be using my 25 balloons so what I like to do is kind of for the first shot let's for example say I'm just going to stand here let's say I'm going to stand to the side slightly or something I don't know so I'm just actually going to find where I need to stand and what I like to do is use my floor as a guide so I actually have wooden floors or like lino and they have lines on it so I'm just going to find a place right behind a line and put my toes on the line so that shows me where I need to stand and then just check my position kind of figure out where I need to stand before. Then what I'm gonna do is literally step out and hold down my shutter, which I can't do now because I'm filming, and just make sure I find that focal point. So it needs to be focused on the balloons and make sure if you have things like this, props that are in the way or kind of create depth to your shot, that you are actually focusing on the back because the amount of times I've focused on this and it's been out of shot or out of focus has been annoying. So make sure you just step out, get your whole body out, focus on the background and then run back where you were give yourself about 10 seconds so you can sort your hair out sort your dress out and then like pose <laughs> so that's how i am going to do it and i have found that this does work very well um, because the focus is definitely a huge thing that you need to get down if you don't want to be running back and forth another thing i could recommend is putting your camera onto video mode and if you do video mode the easiest thing for this basically is just that you're moving so if you just like to move around and you find that moving is better for you in your videos, definitely recommend that. And the other thing I'm going to do is put on the screen or in the description all of the settings that I use for my Canon G7X. And this is definitely for you if you use a DSLR. I'm not using DSLR as you guys know. Um, but this is going to help with things to do with exposure or um, shutter or anything else that you need to kind of set up. I don't know, it might be useful to some of you, it might not be. So that is basically how I like to film my DIY photo shoot studio. Hope you guys enjoyed that and found something useful. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section and I will answer them. So I will probably let you guys see some of the finished products. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.